For this tutorial, you will see a few of those quick tips in helping work with the gradient tool. Using this gradient tool, again, it assists with helping your images begin to look more realistic. So for the image in front of you, we will select the gradient hatch to create illusion on this wall that we have in front of us. We're going to pick two colors. Using that gradient color, we're going to go with, let's see, a light color and the dark color. So dark on top, light on the bottom. Once you pick and decide what you want to use and you place it, you can always, as long as you're inside of the color or the command, change your colors in and out. When they are in place and you see what it looks like on your screen, you can always change the angle and the direction of how this is working. So if I switch my angle here to 90, you see that it flips my pattern so that I have the darker colors up top. In the center, it's lighter, and then at the bottom is darker as well. This actually will work for this particular drawing, seeing that when the light is turned on in this space, it shines down as the illusion that I want to create so that we have more of the lighter color toward the center of the room, closer to the mirror and the sink where you will be washing your hands. If that is okay, I can always close out my hatch creation. Whenever you're working in the hatch, you wanna make sure that your associative is always populated. This means that it controls whether the hatch will automatically update in any boundaries that we create. So if I needed to extend this wall out, the hatch will extend out as well as needed. Or if I make changes in one area, they will apply in this area as well. Closing out the hatch creation, I want to show that you can always hatch on top of hatches as well. So here we have a few things going on. So I want to change to a solid hatch change my color to the color that I need, and I can simply go in and begin to hatch right on top of spaces that I want to, with no problem. Another thing that is beneficial with making your drawings appear to be realistic is to begin to remove the lines that are not needed. It is okay to go in and clean up your drawing to make everything look more clean, clean, crisp, and natural once you are all set with how things are we can get rid of the actual drawing line to make our colors and objects appear more flat. If you are ever looking for additional colors, such as this brown that we have here, in your hatch command, where it has your solids and your color underneath, when you go to the drop down, you can go to where it says more colors. Under the more colors, the select color box will populate. This is where you will go to your color books and then begin to scroll through and find more colors at your reach. 